Let's hear it from the Asian Hi everyone, I am here with Chanel Loren from Sydney, Australia, singer-songwriter. Uh, she's been making music for a long, long time already, and she's here to discuss, we're going to discuss that if, what, whenever, if the lockdown happen again, and what are your things uh, or not? If the lockdown happens again, and you were given a chance to prepare, what are your three survival kits? that will make you prepare musically in order for you to be sane in the lockdown and continue the music flowing even if it is lockdown. We will just discuss those three those, those three things and why. Uh, I'm here with Chanel, guys. Hello, Chanel. Hi, Tom. How Hi, are you everyone. doing? I'm good. Yeah, surviving the lockdown. But we're free now, apparently, for the double vax people. Yes, we do. I'm we half do. vax, so I have to wait okay. a few more, few more weeks until I'm free, like everyone. I'm fully vax, so I can go anywhere. Lucky you. All right, then. So, okay, Chanel, so given a chance to prepare for a lockdown, let's discuss your three survival kit. What's um, going to be your first thing? Okay, number one would have to be technology. Um, technology, yeah, yeah. Um, and when I say technology, I mean like my phone, my laptop, um, social media, Facebook, you know, Instagram and stuff like that, and Zoom. Instagram, um, yeah. Because I feel like that's, like, I don't know, you have to rely on social media um, now and just connecting with people. I've had some virtual sessions with other producers on zoom and stuff um i've actually had free sessions one guy was in brisbane so that like it mm -hmm. couldn't have happened anyway um and it yeah it was very weird because it made me miss being in the studio properly but it actually was cool i just felt like it was yeah. a bit slow because i had to go and like record everything by myself so including that it would have to be my interface and mic um because that's what makes me record yeah, and like yeah. and obviously and logic I use logic so yeah and you're a singer yeah you need those you need those mics every time the music comes just record it just like that yeah because like yeah even definitely my phone as well because I have ideas and I'll just like record on my phone or like write um, lyrics on notes so my phone's the most important one and then later on would be my laptop and stuff well, so yeah. that I can so be basically done technology yeah so just technology in general and then also like just to keep me sane so I can talk to my friends and like FaceTime them yeah yeah you um, need those friends to keep you sane yeah. as well yeah I feel like um talking to people and just randomly expressing how I feel to others is what has made me survive because um, yeah. I feel very isolated. Um, so, yeah, technology is definitely important because I feel like I would go crazy if I yeah. didn't have it. <laughs> A lot of people are going to get crazy. Yeah, exactly. People that don't even do music are definitely even going crazy. You, even if you don't do music, you're going to be crazy without those technologies and without those phones. All right, then. So what's your second? My second one would be exercising um just like going for walks or um just working out in my bedroom with my um dumbbells and stuff oh so um, you need those things dumbbells mat yeah dumbbells mat even like um which kind of hands in with technology but i watch youtube exercises or i use a nike app yeah. um yeah 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 i guess what kind of goes in that is my headphones as well because i can't work out without my headphones yeah, that's really the technology as well. Yeah, so te yeah. just technology in depth, like, I don't know what I would do without technology. It's all connected, like, from technology to your dream stuff. Technology is still connected with it. But yeah. yeah, exactly. Dream stuff is kind of other things, yeah. Those stumbles, those smacks. Why? Oh, the, a skipping the, the, rope, actually. I've kind of got into skipping. Rope. Okay, okay. I mean, I wouldn't we say I've a... gotten into it, gotten into it, but it's fun to do. Yeah, I want to try that as well, but I haven't buy a rope yet. And I don't know if I can 
use a rope. I haven't done that. It took me a while. You can teach me how to do it after the. Also, I forgot. um, I have a cycling, um, a cycle exercise thing. Cycling, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bicycle thing downstairs. And that's amazing. Um, Especially because I have a knee injury that's just recovering. It's taken forever to recover. So I just need to do exercises that um, strengthen my thighs and stuff. Um, How many many hours do you work out a day? I tried, like, I went for a phase where I worked out, like, half an hour to 45 minutes a day. Um, okay. But then I got depressed again. So sometimes it's like, even though you've got a survival kit, you sometimes need days off and you just need to just... You need a cheap day. Yeah. I, I may feel like I've had a cheap week or, or two or, or month. I don't know what's going on, but I definitely need to get back on... Um, exercising I was gonna go for a walk today but it started raining so yeah I might just go on my bike tonight or something what's your favorite what's your favorite gym stuff what's your favorite exercise I actually like doing legs um legs. I, know, I really like I really like the burn of it I I kind of do like abs but I do tap out a lot I just don't have the stamina <laughs> do but I like it okay what i actually hate which i thought i wouldn't is yoga yoga is so yoga. hard it's so hard yeah i heard i heard i heard it is very hard and because i'm overwhelmed and stressed yoga should be great because like i keep a lot of stress in my body but the reason why i hate it is because they force me to breathe and it's like i don't want to yeah. breathe like <laughs> so <laughs> that's yeah i feel like yeah that's my yeah it's not my fun exercise to do but once I'm finished, I do feel more relaxed and better. And you feel fit? Yeah, I feel like right now my my issue, like, well, number one, I do want to lose weight because I've put on weight from COVID, but I kind of like my weight that I've put on. I just don't like it in certain areas. So um, weight um, loss isn't that crazy, I guess, just getting leaner and trimmer. But my main focus is mental health. Because, yeah, yeah, like, like even this week, even though it's just started, but I was so like sad and depressed, like a few hours ago. And I realized that I was just in my bed and because I didn't really have, I had things to do, but I didn't really want to do anything. I realized that I just need to get up. So I just like got up and got ready. And then like I was more productive from that. So I feel like exercising just kind of makes my body feel like it's being normal again. Um, And I think that's my biggest, um, um, I guess my biggest. Challenge. Challenge. Yeah. My biggest challenge with lockdown is not moving even though like I never really paid attention and even when life was normal I would drive a lot and you know but like walking to uni like Macquarie uni is huge and like the hills and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah, still I was know, a little I bit know. of exercise whereas now I don't do nothing so my body is just always in the you know like ple- like um stagnant level yeah, 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 which makes me feel like I'm not doing anything with my life. And then you go on your phone, and then everyone's moving fast, or people are pretending that they're fine. And it's <laughs> so, even though technology like, is great, I sometimes need a break from that. Like walking from Hayden Fell to Macquarie, Macquarie yeah, to Macquarie. <laughs> oh That's a long, long that was walk. a mission. I had to mentally prepare myself to do that walk, exactly, exactly. Me as well. Every time I walk that uh, I take those steps going to Macquarie Center. Oh, that's a long, long walk. It is. Right. Especially so in summer. For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in summer, it's so hot. It's, uh, under the, yeah. I'm going to walk under the sun. It's so, so hot. So, okay, let's proceed to your third one. Okay, my third one is money (laughs) we need money which sometimes isn't good because I feel like I've been spending it on the wrong things but I've been um retail like doing retail therapy I've just Mm -hmm. been buying clothes and 
doing buying clothes and sending clothes back because they I either regret what I bought or it just doesn't fit me. Yeah, um, this is sound, the sound. But it's made me feel a bit normal. Buying online. Yeah, because I've been doing. Yeah, online I hate online shopping. Well. Like I saw this tops. Like it's really, really good. Uh, I think this one does fit me. Then when it comes in here, oh, I don't think this color matches me. Oh, I don't think this style matches <laughs> me. Like it's too difficult. But I already had it. It's difficult to send it back again, and it's, I'm too lazy to send it back. And I don't have any oh, no, I'm good reason that back. to send it back. I'm not gonna send it back. Oh, you're gonna send I'm it back. I'm sending it back. The reason is I don't like it. That's the reason. Why and did you buy it? Well, this is the thing because it's the pictures. My issue is it's the fitting of the clothes. Like I like recently I had to send back these pair of jeans, which I was really hoping they would have been nice because I was like, oh, I've been looking for a color like that and like just the way it fit, like fitted on the model. But then I got it and it did not fit my body at all the way it should have yeah. been. And so I was like, I'm just, I was like, I should keep it. And I was like, I'm not going to wear it. And if yeah, I do, yeah. I probably will just be like, why do you keep this? So I sent it back. But um, I just can't wait to go shopping, you know, in stores and like trying on clothes. And yeah, now that I've real, like gained a bit shopping. of weight. Yeah, I've gone up a dress size. So I honestly don't know my size properly. And with materials, I feel like they're getting tighter. So sometimes I have to like size up, which is a bit hard because I didn't think I would have to size up and then yeah. have to send it back. But um. Yeah, but also with money, <laughs> regardless of, you know, vanity and all of that. Regardless of vanity. Um, yeah. I've been working on a project money. for the past year. <laughs> so, yeah, also, yeah, I've been working. Oh, was going to say? Uh, I just have a follow-up question with that. Like, do you think, like, shopping keeps your mental health? Uh, in a proper way to, of condition I think so I feel like shopping it depends on what you're getting so like um, I've been buying stuff that I always wanted so like I I randomly bought a pair of like sh- like trainers the other day and th- but then I've also bought important stuff so like I bought a hard drive because my laptop keeps on getting full and I I have been working on a lot of stuff and I know I need to have you know storage so I bought a hard drive I even bought like a notebooks and stuff because I was like I want to start handwriting a bit more I bought highlighters and stuff like just random stuff that will help me stay more productive but then also like with buying clothes I've been like oh I'm gonna save this for when I go out for dinner with my friends so it kind of makes me feel like there's yeah. a light into the tunnel type of thing whereas if I was just like not buying random stuff that made me think of the future I probably would be even more depressed yeah. so um yeah it's definitely important but I try not to you know buy stuff every week um yeah yeah for me because it's just a problem for me like every every advertising on Facebook on Instagram Mm. Every time I see something interesting, like, oh my god, then I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> like I, like I had this eye massager. I just saw on Facebook, oh, this is an eye massager. It keeps away the migraine. Then I was thinking, oh, I always had a migraine. I always <laughs> have a migraine. I think this one will help me. Then all of a sudden, I already added to the added it uh, added to the cart, then buy it, and I already have it. And uh, I already have it now. And I don't think it's essential. I want to get into stuff like that. I actually was thinking about that today. I was like, oh, I need to, you know, stock up in my face regime and like, because like I'm running out of stuff. So, yeah, I, I did. I did buy eyeshadow. I, I've only worn that <laughs> eyeshadow once. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm keeping myself away like, from clothes. I have a lot of apps, like shopping yeah, yeah. apps for clothes. I'm... I'm going out of that one. I'm avoiding them. Yeah, I'm kind of avoiding clothes too until I go into the stores. I feel like I'm ready to just actually yeah. try on clothes because I feel like I've just been buying stuff that are only for events or, you know, special occasions. 
um, where I need like, you know, staple outfits where, you know, I'm just going to uni or work or, you know, whatever. So I think that's what will make it real when you can go in the store and try things on properly. Yeah, yeah. But also another reason for music is my project. I have to pay producers. I have to pay the sound yeah. engineers. I have to pay um, even like, yeah, even just like, like for accounts like Splice, you have to pay for that if you want to yeah, use yeah. loops for, you know, Spotify, SoundCloud. So like you just need money. And like um, also been planning um, music videos and ideas and stuff, which means in the future, I'm going to have to pay for the work to be done. So money is very, very important, to be honest. I never realized that I could be depressed until I was like broke, broke, broke. And I was like, <laughs> nah, I need to have savings. Like I need to have some yeah. sort of money yeah. for rainy days. So that's, and that's what I learned during lockdown because I lost um, my job. Well, I didn't lose my job. I lost a lot of hours and I was like, oh damn, I've like, you know, the, the wages I was getting was completely different to now and it's been like two years or a year and a half and I had to be like okay I need to start saving money because I don't want to get to a point where it's like I want to move out or something and I don't have enough money to move out or I want to buy a car or I want to go away on holiday or something happens where I have to pay for something so um, money is very important especially when you're trying to get into music and like trying to make it your career you have to invest in yourself and like spend money in places I mean some people are you know lucky and they can get free stuff but I feel kind of guilty by you know free labor when I know that people are working hard and I want to be paid as an artist so yeah it just doesn't fit right with my moral compass so just yeah 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 all right then thank you Chanel for sharing those beautiful things now uh (laughs) Maybe you can talk to our listeners where and where they can follow you. Okay, so you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, it is at I am Chanel Loren, C H A N E L L O R E N. So Not I am the single M. Chanel Loren. The single and yeah, M. that's on TikTok, um, Instagram, my SoundCloud. I'm working, I have like a, I have a Spotify account, but I I don't have my music out yet because I, like I said, I've been working on a project um, and we just kind of want to release it properly because the songs that I have released have been self-produced. And yeah, yeah, so even though like they're not bad, I I do feel like I, you know, put myself down with my produced songs, but I can't do everything I want to do. So it's nice to work with a producer that that's their job. And um, yeah, and now I have management, which is great. So we actually have a vision, whereas before I was just releasing with no intention. It was just releasing for the sake of it. So um, I'm really excited for my project to come. I'm nervous, but more excited. And yeah, so it should come out next year, the start of next year. Right then. If things go to plan, if we don't get in another lockdown before I can record things and like, (laughs) but um, I'm hoping now I feel like it will be fine. If not, might have to improvise and do some visuals and stuff in my garden or something. I don't know. It has to happen, you know? Yeah. All right. Then something to look forward to. All right. Thank you, Chanel, for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you.